So this is a demonstration of how eCopyShareScan can scan documents directly to SharePoint. Uh, in this case I'm using SharePoint Office 365, so a hosted SharePoint. And I'm going to be storing documents into this document library and uh, populating some column information. So the name will be the name of, uh, of the document and I'm actually going to name the document to the value of a barcode. I'll show you the document that I'm going to be using. So this particular document has a barcode on, on the first page. In fact, it's got uh, barcodes on every page, but it's only the first page. You can see there's the first page and then the follow on pages. So it's only the first page that I'm actually going to read this value. In this case, it's DLR12345. So I'm actually going to read that value and I'm going to store that against the name of, uh, of the document. And then I've got a, um, a lookup within ShareScan. We call this the database lookup extender. It's the ability to take a piece of metadata, um, either something that's on the page, so like a barcode or some, some text that we can read using zonal optical character recognition, or some type of data that the user's entered. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take the barcode value. I have a database in, uh, in SQL here in SQL. And I've got a particular database here, so barcode to customer name. I've only got one uh, um, one row in here, so you can see that I'm actually going to read the barcode value. And then I'm going to read the, uh, the customer name. And what I'm actually going to do then is I'm going to map that customer name again to a column within SharePoint completely seamless, seamlessly without the user at the, at the device, at the MFP. Um, having to type anything um, in particular. So um, without further ado, I'm just going to switch over. We have a, a simulator built into the administration console of ShareScan. What we see here is a button SharePoint 365 barcode naming. The icon and the text are, or the label of the button are completely editable by the administrator and you can choose whatever name you like. In this case, I've just chosen something fairly descriptive. So I'm going to go ahead and just push the button. Now this is the, the screen that you would actually see on the MFP. And on the MFP you'll see a real-time preview of the document that, that you've scanned. And if I just zoom into this page you can see there DLR12345. So I know that this document is uh, is the right way up and I've done, done something right so far. And I'm just going to send this document on, on its way. Now there's no interaction in this process for the user. Um, I, I actually could put some screens in there double checking the barcode value and the data that I've, I've uh, read but I've chosen to hide those and if I just go and refresh this web page for SharePoint we'll see a document uh, document appear so here we have it DLR12345 and um, you can see the customer name is Nuance Communications and if I actually click on the, on the document and just say open you'll see the uh, the document opens and I've stored the document successfully within SharePoint so that's pretty much uh, how the how the user would interact with ShareScan on an MFP a very simple demonstration and um, but I'll just show you how that's configured so we have something called a Microsoft SharePoint connector we have uh, connector profiles in this case we have a profile uh, called barcode naming SharePoint 365 and I like to call things fairly uh, uh, fairly structured so I can come back to them at a later point if I go and edit this particular location this is pointing to a location um, that's hosted so nuanceshare.scan.sharepoint.com so this is a Microsoft website um, I can enable or disable the navigation in this case I actually had a navigation disabled because there were no subfolders to navigate um, I could have complete control over navigation um, and disable some of the things that um, uh, I may not want the user to go to lists for example and here you can see I've mapped a column with which is called customer name um, with a piece of data this uh, uh, yellow key here means that I've actually got a key that's published um, internally from the barcode value that I'm mapping and then we've got some services we have the database um, lookup extender mm -hmm. and what we call the image control so our barcode template so if I just go and show you I've got this simple barcode naming I go and edit this so I'm just reading a code 39 barcode it's the first horizontal barcode that it'll find on the page and I'm publishing that value to something I called internally barcode value 
And then later on, I'm actually using that barcode value. And if I go to the database lookup extender and I go and show you what I've done here. So I'm going to use this barcode value um, and, uh, and go and look up in this table in the database and go and get the customer name so I could I could test this so if I type in DLR12345 I should get back nuance communications which I do just to show you that uh, that is working in real time if uh, if I go ahead and just say edit this value instead of nuance communications if I said nuance UK, so I've changed the database in real time. What you'll see is that um, uh, the result changes in real time. So there's nothing else addition you have to do within ShareScan should the underlying data um, change. So that's it. This is uh, eCopy ShareScan version 5.2 scanning into Office 365. So hosted SharePoint using barcode values to name the document and also using the barcode value to go look up some additional metadata from a database to populate the columns, um, which are the additional index fields within SharePoint. Thank you very much for spending the time.